I love to cook good food, but who has the fucking time to hunt down a dozen exotic ingredients just to eat better? Not at my age. Thug Kitchen helps me cut through the bullshit with language that I can understand. You know what I understand? I understand it's time to go. If my app would fucking work. (laughs) That's the kind of shit that happens on this show. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 124 for Thursday, Blaze It 420. This is your two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and, and uh, their guests celebrate all things geek and, and I get the intro right once in a while. Fuck you, we're, go- we're live! Oh my god, dude. You always talk about screwing up the interest. That, man, that was a doozy. Dude, it's not just us by ourselves though. We have Ben Simpson, aka Russell Berry. Oh, oh, hey, I didn't see it there. What's up, y'all? Oh, my God. So, awesome. this, this, uh, look, I'm just going to cut straight into my shit, all right? Um, <laughs> did you watch Night right. Attack this week? Oh, uh, hell yeah. Okay. Night Attack? Um, I, I've seen maybe the first half. Okay, so well, Kent, fuck you then. Um, <laughs> I got, I got, I, I'm just going to say, they, they talked about two very important subjects this week. Two very, very important subjects. One, okay. whether or not your online personality or your show personality, blah, 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 is real or if it's like an imagined thing or if you're playing a role or if it's just a, a highly extended version of yourself. On this show, we only take the fucking truth. The difference is we have to be quiet on here about certain things because me and Kent both work for the, for, the, for the government. But God damn it, I can't wait until that's not the truth anymore. Uh. Holy shit. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I was actually going to say that I am a bit of a fake persona on the internet. I was going to take a different bent than you. I was going to say that I'm even more of an idiot in real life. Right. So, because this show is at least planned. Right. <laughs> sort of. I mean, kind of, right. <laughs> kind I mean, of. We, um, <laughs> I think, but I think Ben put more effort into the show notes this week than, uh, than either one of us. Ben, I mean, uh, and I, I'm I'm just gonna say that I am indeed a real Charmander. For the audio listeners, you are the third person on the screen is clearly a Charmander holding a lovely glass of white wine. Like this is me every day. Is, and, is, that, and, the children. Is, is that white wine or is that apple produced sweat? Oh, it's it's the it's the sweetest Moscato barefoot. Oh, see here you go. So it is sweat. Got it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> very sweet sweat. <laughs> actually, actually, it's one of my uh, one of my favorites because I, I like cheap white wine because I like really yeah. sweet stuff. That's I, I like sweet See, stuff. This is the real shit. That's cheap to get in my mouth. Um, so right, so it is four twenty. It is. It is definitely time to blaze it up. Um, but it's also yeah. I, I actually learned this. I don't know how I didn't realize this. It's actually Hitler's birthday today as well. Yeah, Did we you guys knew that. know that. Yeah, we knew that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No? I saw him in the dock. <laughs> so I wasn't the only one. Like, man, what the no, hell? No, you we, you and I had a conversation about 420 being on, or Hitler's birthday being on 420, like three years ago before we even started this podcast. Were we fucked up? Was Probably. I fucked up? Like, like when, when are we not? Right, right, right. Except when no, I we're got not it, except, it, though. At least not, at least uh, not well, now. Well, no. No, not, not for another couple years probably <laughs> yo i actually i just got a piss test like a week ago um so does that mean i'm good for a while do you um, think i can like uh see you had to ask the question and i know how the system works because of like uh, we're, we're, we're on the internet you know, asking, you know what we're not gonna do tables for this shit dude <laughs> <laughs> we are we are not gonna get into how the mili- how the air force uh, uh piss tests their members that's something we're not gonna do tonight hey um i mentioned i had two issues with night attack this week uh, the first one was that conversation right there. I just want to make sure everybody un- understands that we are the same people in person as we are on the show. Uh, in person, we can be a little bit more honest, actually. So we're, right. we're probably rowdier in person than we are on the show. We probably calm it down just a touch to come out here. Um, and the other thing is, they were talking repeatedly about how they're so fucking awesome because they have 12 listeners. 12 fans out there. And I'm telling you what, look. They've been on the air for eight years. We've been doing this for two and a half, and we're already at three. 
So we're like we're like fucking a quarter of the way there. Like we're any any day we're gonna surpass them any day now. And I'm just gonna say this, just just as a general thing. We copy their skits, not the other way around. They need to stop copying our fucking bits about how few fans they have. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I think it was like a year ago we were saying, like, man, we're almost up to four people watching us. Uh, yeah. So thanks, Night Attack. Thanks for thanks for stealing our stuff. Thanks for uh, remixing or stealing my IP. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get into that. Yeah. What's going on there, man? Um, so uh, I, for, I forgot to I forgot to reset Showbot because I'm a douche because uh, I'm in a hurry every day for everything for all the times. So uh, while I do that, why don't you guys tell me about your week? Um. Well, I got to do something really cool. I got to hang out with Gloria Young on Sunday. Oh, uh, you didn't oh, see why? where I moved that down in the notes? You're you're killing the punchline, dude. Uh oh. You didn't tell me you modified the notes. Uh but <laughs> well I did, and that was the coolest thing that I did this week. And uh we'll 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 get into why later on. Um uh, Amos, um you were there doing that as well. Ben, did you do anything as cool as that? Um this week was fairly boring except for last weekend where me he gain getting trashed on every Saturday, always forever. There, there is a 90s bar crawl, which, like, the, like, it's an event that takes place in different cities around the country where, where everyone dress, just dresses like they're in 90s. There's jello shots and awesome specials at, like, 10-plus bars, anywhere from 2 to $5. And, I, and it's a great place to get turned to a crisp. <laughs> like, like, it... It, like, if you want, if like, you're, it's fun for everyone, whether you're part of it or not. Because I, me and my friends, we were, in, we were going to the actual bars that were participating for the first four hours, and then we just started hanging out with other people, and and eventually we just got completely lost downtown Raleigh. So and, did they? Now, at a '90s bar crawl, like what? What is that? so? Is, is all the participating bars are they all playing '90s music? Uh, yes. They go out dressed like um, like '90s fashion. Um, it, all all of those things. Yeah, Mo mostly those two things. Like <laughs> the like honestly, I was expecting it to be somewhat geekier or something, thing, and but most most everyone and was like those two things summarizes most of it. I was. The only one who was straight up Charmander or anything, actually from the nineties. Like there weren't any Power Rangers or Simpsons characters or some something. To, and uh, no, no Captain Planet or anything. I'm, whoa, whoa, no. whoa! What? What's happening? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, I just, I just wanted to get something, but but like, yeah, not, nothing quite like that. So, <laughs> so does anyone have, have? Does anyone know what the hell this is? Like it's a, it's a slap band. That's what I was gonna say. That looks like a slap band, a slap uh, bracelet. Oh, that's what it's called. Like, I was the only one there who had no idea what it is, and people oh. younger than me were telling me he, yeah. he, that I, these I, were I, huge I, in the nineties. I, I have no memory of this. I've, got, I've actually got a, a slap band koozie. Oh, what? what? Holy crap! Yeah, my my Juvet koozie is a, is a slap band koozie. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that's awesome. Yeah, I just pulled a, I just pulled a fucking Tom Merritt right there. What's up, bitches? <laughs> so um hey, I'm speak, doing that. speaking speaking of the 90s uh tonight on 420 of course is the uh back to the 90s concert here in anchorage where vanilla ice salt and pepper and a bunch of other people that i don't remember uh we're not going to show up because it's too far but uh, i think vanilla ice showed up and half of salt and pepper so like i don't know if it was salt or pepper but one of the two showed up <laughs> and like cisco i think was going to bring his thong up here um, so that's where a lot of like my entire, entire neighborhood is doing that right now. So just so you know, that's my dedication to the show. I skipped that for this. Oh yeah. man. Uh, yeah. You, I'm, you, I'm, I'm starting to you, rethink that one. Um, you skip salt and or pepper. <laughs> you know, I, oh man. I'm sorry, dude. Um, <laughs> Hey, uh, so there's a few things that happened this weekend. Uh, like, I'm I'm just gonna bring this up real quick if it'll if it'll come up, and of course it did. So we're gonna do this. <laughs> 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 
and that's about uh, about all I want to show on there before Disney starts pulling us off the net. Um, <clears throat> that yeah. So this weekend was Star Wars Celebration, and uh, they revealed the trailer for the new movie, The Last Jedi. Yeah, the first trailer. Um, so, uh, Mr. Charmander, are you a Star Wars kind of geek, or are you just you know all about the the animation, but none of the sciencey stuff? Pokemans. Pokemans. I mean. I mean, yeah, yeah, most mostly animation, but like Star Wars has always just kind of been been there in the background. Like, like we had, we had special v, special editions of the of three, four, five, and six on VHS, and I've seen. I I saw seven seven in theaters and had a great time with that. Did not see Rogue One, but I mean, this I I really like this. I really dug this trailer. Like, hmm. I, like it gave. I feel like it gave us about as much as one, one of the early trailers for or uh, Rogue One, or sorry, uh, the uh, Seven uh, Force Awakens. Yeah, Force Awakens. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. actually, um, I was gonna bring that up. Uh, the Force Awakens announced trailer, teaser trailer, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it, the first trailer that we saw mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. very similar it's to not. to the the new trailer, the Last Jedi trailer. It's almost beat for beat. No. Well, okay. So what they did, because I, I saw a side by side comparison, and uh, right. Force Awakens trailer has been modified slightly it, to fit beat for beat with uh, with the Last Jedi trailer. P- uh, well, it was it was it was, it was, of, it was it was a combination of multiple trailers plus parts of the movie. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a complete fabrication, in. but that got lost in when they sent it out. It, you know, the whole te- game of telephone. So uh, by the time it, I, it reached you, because I saw your your tweet on it, and you were like, "Oh my god, this is this is cool," and then right after that, like two tweets later, was like, uh, I don't know, Serenity Caldwell or something like that from from Imore saying, "Uh, no, this is how it is," and had a whole breakdown of it. But yeah, the the feels of the movie seem very similar, so much so that you can create a note for note um, trailer comparison version of each one. Yeah, yeah, wicked cool. Uh, yeah, really cool. And, you know, this teaser did exactly what it needed to do. It needed to say, like, okay, here's some new footage. The movie is coming out. Uh, uh, you know, here's a little bit, but we're not going to give away any of the story, really. We'll, we'll give you, like, one little hook at the end. You know, the whole um, uh, Luke Skywalker line of... of um, I, I think I, I, think I, I think about it. found it. So I'm going to just go ahead and, go ahead and play this, just the audio for it. Okay. Right. Truth. It's time for the Jedi to end. Yeah, so that's really the only, uh, I, I guess, talk-worthy thing uh, about the trailer. Like, um, like I do on, have on, a, some... on a on a plate of uh, of of roast and potatoes and some carrots and maybe some uh, some homemade noodles on the side. Um, I'm still hungry, by the way. Uh, that <laughs> line tell. was the roast, right? No, absolutely. And and um, I've got some things to say about that. I actually have some theories that I want to put out there, but I'm going to reserve those um, for about two weeks. And uh, later on, we'll announce why I'm reserving those. But the one thing, the real take home that I that I want to say about this trailer is that. Uh, the trailer for Thor Ragnarok is still way cooler. Oh, see, I, I didn't think so. You've seen exactly zero MCU movies though. So, well, I've seen like three. They just, and none of the Thors probably. No, no. Or Hulks or Avengers. No, but uh, see, (laughs) trailers are, are, are so subjective that, uh, no, I saw the first Hulk, the one that apparently doesn't count anymore. I don't know. The Edward Norton one. Um, yeah, the, I, uh, either of them? Huh? The the one the one called in, the Incredible Hulk. Sure, is part of the. the that and was I like saw, the, and I saw the Hulk one before that too. Yeah, the, that one didn't count. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think pre- it's just. I, I think it's a matter of excitement. I'm way more excited about the Star Wars than I am the MCU. So it kind of. It just it yeah, just no, washes I mean, away. Here's the thing. You know me. I am a lifelong Star Wars fan. I. I close my eyes and I see Star Wars. Like I am so excited for this movie, mm. but the trailer was like, uh, I take it or leave it. I can watch the mm. Thor Ragnarok trailer mm-hmm. ten times in a row 
every day. And you're going to laugh at the same joke each time because it's all I've been hearing about that damn trailer yes. is that one joke in the middle that I actually didn't think it was all that funny, even though I understand the context because of it. It's okay. Uh, you don't have the investment with the characters. That's it's probably true. a lot with the character investment. Um, Bad Weave wants to know, so what's up with the Pokemon? And uh, that's just essentially uh, because we needed to invite an uh, animated character on the show. And, um, it's, uh, it's about quotas. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 all uh, demographics. That's what it is. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. This is me in real life, y'all. See? I'm just Charmander, doing Charmander <laughs> things, guesting on podcasts. Uh, the, the, what, what's confusing you right now is that Charmander is actually wearing a Brussel mouthpiece. So yeah, uh, it's like a half mask. Yeah, yeah. See, so if he closes his mouth, there. See, it just it's just all Charmander. It's it. <laughs> Incredibly sophisticated technology goes into making this show happen every week. Um, but indeed. we do it for you. And I am indeed lit. <laughs> as you can see by my fiery tail. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, blaze it. All right, what um, else we got going on, man? Uh, there's all kinds of shit on here, like uh, some VR games and uh, a little, little, uh, little, another little, uh, a little mini Amos rant that I'm sure you cut off halfway because that's what you do. And uh, that makes it that makes it funnier for me because I know the part that I was supposed to get to, but nobody else does. So it's my like, internal little joke. And feel free to interrupt me at any time because I'm just going to keep on rambling until I run out of breath. Which is right. Uh, no. Okay. Into the VR thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I got, I got the PlayStation VR headset like a month ago, and I'm still, I'm still having a great time with it. Have, have either of y'all played any of the headsets? I have played the the Samsung. Uh, whatever the hell it's called, the, the Gear uh, VR. That's it, the Gear VR, right? Which is like an Oculus. It's like an Oculus branded thing for for Samsung phones. I have played a little bit with that, and it's probably the, like the lowest in thing, other than maybe like Google Cardboard. Um, but it's still pretty impressive to me. Um, oh yeah, look. I have not. Well, I've I've done the little demo shits for the Galaxy VR and like the Amos has Verizon done. Yeah, uh, what was it called? Virtual Boy. Amos has done Virtual Boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It gave me a headache. I kicked it. It kicked me back. I figured that was just, that was enough of that shit. Because <clears throat> I tell you what, when you're in a store and you kick a toy and the toy kicks you back, it's time to lay off the fucking. Weed. <laughs> All right. So Ben, how would you compare the other headsets with with uh, the PSVR? Okay. Well, first off, like I I I haven't played played around with the Gear VR, but I'd assume that's might might be one of the lower ones, but even that, like, that's convinced friends that are like, I don't know, man. I don't think VR is gonna catch on at all. It's just it's just another thing thing in the room that you have to just put, you have to put, put put shit on on like like you just put just controller and game, man. Like, and and, com- and he completely changed his mind after ten seconds of Gear VR. Yeah, yeah. And and from there, like, I haven't I haven't played I haven't played the consumer Oculus Rift like. I was not in, I was not into the Oculus Rift at all, well, up till it came out, but like, HTC HTC Vive was something where I played a 15 minute demo at a Microsoft store and had to sit down for 30 minutes because I was so blown away, like, freaking fr- fr- nice. like freaking 360 shoot, shooting giant whale coming down, driving through your space, like that all is amazing and if, and and that's where we are right now with that and I'm jealous that. It had that Vive and Oculus have a lot of the better games, like uh, yeah, like P- PSVR. So, so, so what games has, look- has a lot has a lot of good stuff. Like I, I compare it to having to having a a really neat arcade machine in your house. What games have you played? Okay, like it come it comes with a with a bunch of demos of other games, and, and like the experience is good enough so that even if you know, even though you know. Like, not everything is as clear, might be as clear as you want to be. Like, if something stabs you in the virtual leg, you're shrieking. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> yeah, like, like screw, screw them for labeling the Resident Evil 7 demo as, as something else. <laughs> that was so... And, like, That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah so, Fit, like, Fit wanted to know if you've played Resident Evil 7. Just, just the demo, and I am not putting money into a into that hellish experience. Like, if someone like <laughs> that was so much, much like 
Like you're ju you're just watching someone drag a guy away, way you kill him off screen. Like the 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 360 audio is great for Re Resident Evil and all, all those, but like she stabbed me in the virtual leg, and and then and then and then at one point everything goes quiet and just right in front of your face. It's it's it's, it's super effective. Yeah, that's I've heard that from everybody that's done that. I I played some. I don't even know what it what it's called, but it's like one of the no name, uh, you know, demo style uh, games that came with the with the Gear VR, and it's a horror game. I wish I could remember the name of it, uh, but yeah, that thing got me like several times, and it's like mm. probably the like I said the probably the lowest res VR experience you can have, and yeah, it was pretty immersive and freaky. E exactly. Yeah. Like that, that's the thing that a lot of the experiences are horror VR experiences right now. It seems like, like, like yep. it, mine came with Rush of Blood, which it, which is a seven level roller, evil roller coaster game where, where you're shooting targets and then you're shooting people. <laughs> and uh, the friggin' jump scares on, on that, man. I heard that the no, I don't know if PlayStation has this, but all of the other systems have it. The uh, Google Earth VR experience. I've heard that that is one of the best VR experiences out there right now, and it's completely free. Let me. I yeah. hope so, but I that no, no, first result is dear Sony. Where is Google Earth PSVR? Well, so yeah, so yeah, like <laughs> shake a little eight ball there. The chances aren't looking so good. <laughs> yeah, like, like P PSVR is, is is a great introduction, but almost everything I want to play, I I have shelled a lot more money for for Oculus or HTC Vive. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you have a do you have a PS4 or a four point five? Uh, just just the base PS4. Like, it, it's good. It's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was gonna ask you. Like, it, it, does it skip frames or is it uh you know? It no, it's it's completely fluid. Right on, right on. Like, like, like even even the early Oculus riffs I played with, like, like that that wasn't that much of a of a problem. Um, that that said, the P, I believe the Pro does have a higher refresh rate, so that might be but more beneficial to other people. Like, I, like e even then, I still can't really play it for more than an hour. Mm -hmm. Like, lot lot of eye strain. Um, yeah, <clears throat> yep, I get so, it. So this week, uh, well, so very common is it in my family for my wife and I to look at each other because we're in some random situation and ask, why is our life not a sitcom? Because we got all the kids in the family, my step, or my, not my step, my, uh, my sister-in-law lives with us. Uh, we're up in here in Alaska and it's, it's like, there's just so many different situations that we find hilarious at the end of the day, like after we've made it through the struggle of whatever that day held. At the end of yeah. the day, we're in the bathroom, we're you know brushing our teeth or or whatever, you know, getting ready for bed, and it's not uncommon for us to just look at each other and sit there and hmm, our life should be a sitcom. Well, this week, all you're missing, this I was gonna week, say all you're missing is the laugh track, dude. This uh, well, no, we have that sometimes too. <laughs> this week was no different. My wife is in Georgia for the week for training. Monday, while I'm sitting down to produce IQMZ Sports with Odokta. I get a text from her that says, hey, dad's coming on Wednesday. Not okay. my dad. She's gone until Friday, and her dad is arriving on Wednesday. Oh. The, oh, no. <laughs> the, 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 the guest bedroom isn't set up. We don't even have a bed. Like we got the mattresses, but we just haven't found the bed because we we're waiting for a sale or whatever. So immediately uh, following that, I have been turning our 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 spare room into a full blown bedroom. Uh, assembled the, uh, 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 shopped around, found and purchased the the day bed itself. Found the trundle that's going to go underneath it. Uh, assembled it, rearranged the curtains, like did all the repairs to the room that need to be done. And there's like a little alcove where it goes to double doors and there's another door off to the side where that alcove is now a, a closet because I've modified it to be a, a fully functional and not bad looking closet, if I do say so myself. All right. <laughs> and tonight, after we get done here, I still need to go through 
and hang one more one more uh, 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 dowel across across the way to block the doors from coming in and opening and knocking everything down, and switch the TV from one wall to another wall so the guests can actually watch it while they're on the bed. And not to mention, I still have to find sheets and everything else. Like the actual dressing of the room still needs to occur. The cleaning and the dressing still needs to occur. The last three days have just been functionality, making it a room worthy of a guest. And holy Mm. shit, like was that a surprise on this already strenuous week with my wife being God, us doing this show, my uh, the twins had a a, a game added on Tuesday for their soccer schedule just out of nowhere. Hey, by the way, we're going to add a game on Tuesday. Thanks. And David started track this week. So it's a whole just completely new game. And holy shit, has it been insane. And this is why I didn't tell you anything, Kent, about how my week was going because I didn't have time to detail the information. And for for the record, my father-in-law is actually coming in on Friday on my wife's plane. They're meeting up in Seattle and then coming in on Friday. So I I had a stay of execution of two days. But he'll be here uh, Friday afternoon. I only have one question for you, though. Uh, in in light of the the fact that your your life is a sitcom, you said that all you had to do is clean and dress the room. I want to know what a, a dressed versus undressed room looks like. A dressed room will have sheets on the bed. It'll have a mm. clean floor, and it won't be a bare floor. It'll have like a carpet or a rug or something like that, at least in the middle of it, so the guests can have a spot to like spread their toes. Um, and we'll also have, I don't know, the shit from all the drilling into the walls that I've been doing swept up off the floor. I've never heard that term for anything other than like a, a human like dre- dressing up a human no you can you can dress, dress up anything it's just to make it make it ready for like you can dress up a, a, a dinner table you know setting the table as dressing the table <laughs> yeah fitz says military terms Nah, that's uh that's yeah definitely not uh definitely not a military term <laughs> uh, so that's ben, been my do week you, do you ever dress your room um with febreze <laughs> Excellent. Well, it's because because he's got that uh, that fiery tail, man. That uh, it just keeps uh, keeps burning it, burning shit up. <laughs> got to get rid of the smells. Oh, man. Speaking of speaking of people burning things up, uh, our patrons are burning up patreoncom slash misery. Man, I love those people so much. They are enriching our lives, giving us a monetary reason to keep doing this show. I I appreciate them so much. Uh, Amos, what what sort of things, people that become patrons of Ritual Misery at patreon.com slash ritual misery, what, what sort of things, what benefits do they get? Um, well, so if you watch the show live, you, you automatically already see most of the pre-show and probably most of the post-show, but we do mm-hmm. full post-shows on there. And a lot of times we'll cut the, cut the cameras because one of us has to go or whatever else like we were going to do tonight. And the other one of us will just continue the conversation and we'll have this great conversation. So that's one thing that you get that's patron exclusive. Uh, another thing that you get is early access to things. And we, when we, we, we have a little bit later to talk about it. We've already mentioned it once, but uh, we have a patron exclusive on our Patreon right now that's ready to go. It's video and audio. It's about f- what, 48 minutes long, and it is amazing. It is, it's, it's almost mandatory viewing or listening for any Diamond Clubber. It's ridiculous. That was brought out by the patrons and the chat room. It's given to the patrons right now, and we'll open that up a, a modified version of it at a later time. But uh, it's it's amazing. And anytime we do a special thing, any kind of special event, whether it's a an interview or an extra show or whatever else, patrons get the uncut version. Yep. So, so no like edits, the, uh- just as it is. Here you go. That's how they got the, the jury interview that I did for uh, for um, dismantled, yep, and yep. Uh, yeah, it's it's all there, man. We put everything out there. Put everything out there. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The the new thing that's out there right now on you know exclusive to Patreon.com. The patrons are the only ones that are gonna get the full uncut version. Mm-hmm. What the public is gonna get is uh, it's gonna be a tailored version of that. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So yeah. If you uh, if you think any of that's worth it, worth a buck. What is it, Amos? Give a fuck. Give a buck. If you give a know. fuck, you give no, a that, buck. 
<laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so that's patreon.com slash ritual misery. Don't be a Appreciate fucko. It. Give us a bucko. <laughs> exactly that. Um, so, Ben, uh, uh, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. You've got 60 seconds. Get your mind right. It's time for Hot Takes on the Ritual Misery Podcast. So the way this works is I'm going to give you a topic, and you are going to talk about it. You're going to rant and rave or or say something cool or whatever it is you want to say. And then as soon as you hear this sound, you're going to stop talking and get your next topic. And we're going to go for about a minute on this. Are you ready to go? I'll give it a shot. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Shrek, am I right? Shrek has followed me all my friggin' life. I've told a lot of people that I really want to get a tattoo on my bicep of Shrek, where every time he flexes, he says, Donkey! 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 And <laughs> iCarly, am I right? iCarly is from a weird weird time where Drake and Josh was gone. And oh, that, that was a great show. So I, iCarly, he, I mean... Are you Carly? Public version. <laughs> have you ever been to the Taco Bell Cantina that serves beer? Yes, I have. It was really good. I got, got a Bud Light, really small, decent menu. Oh, like it's worth it's worth the story. That's uh, really it. <laughs> Muscular kangaroos. Am I right? What? <laughs> Where? I mean, yes, they are. Like. <laughs> oh god, I forgot how mus muscular they are. Oh, oh my god, remember that video where they're fighting in the friggin' streets? Good god. <laughs> Pikachu, am I right? Uh, yes, right here. <laughs> and now he's gone. <laughs> awesome. Okay, that was that was hot takes. Thank you, Ben, for playing along. That was fun. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, now is the point of the show where we talk about our main topic, which is typically our guest. But this week, we're not going to talk about our guest. We're instead going to talk about Brussleberry. So Charmander, um, I hope you can speak to this. Um, I mean, you're wearing, you're wearing a Brussleberry mask or uh, uh, mouthpiece. So, uh, so can you tell us in uh, five million words or less, what's Brussleberry been up to lately? All right, well... I know five million words. Uh, uh, take your time. I know that's that's some paring down <laughs> that you got to do. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you you can cut that down considerably if you so choose. It's it's completely up to you. <laughs> so, well, I I heard that you have a YouTube channel. Is is that in fact y you? Uh, you mean you mean you mean you mean Brussleberry does or Charmander? Or, or Brussel yes, Charmander. Sorry, Charmander. Um, I heard that Brussleberry has a YouTube channel. And uh, what in the world would Brussleberry have to put on YouTube? Well, Br Brussleberry sure does have a YouTube channel. And for that, he actually goes by the name Ben from Accounting. Mm. Weird. Ah. That, that's, okay. that, that's, that's his na name that he uses for, for his cur current work as well as live DJ shows if that ever does happen again. So, so let me uh, get this right. Let me, let me unwrap this inception just a little bit. As of right now, we have Ben Simpson dressed as Charmander talking about Brussleberry speaking for Ben from Accounting. <laughs> well, we, we've, never had, we've never had four guests on at the same time in just one little Skype window. This is, this is amazing, man. This is really good. I like this. Holy crap. Um, yeah, so what, what sort of things um, – is, is it DJ stuff? Uh, what, what sort of things are on the YouTube channel? Well, right, right now, right now, it's just it's just mashups that now now I'm trying to focus on and have something up w every week. So, so like some just I like I, I have a bu bunch of of, fi of instrumentals and vocals for a lot of things. Other things I might just come up up with in the car at work, Eric and I and I just play play around around with things until. Something surprisingly works, and and then I post it on Reddit, and most of them hate it, and but all my <laughs> friends cheer me on. So there's, I've listened to everything on your on your YouTube channel, Ben, and um, there, uh, so I've got two comments. Uh, okay. The first one, I absolutely love 
how this one works. And uh, I want to I want to play a little bit of it for the audience. This is like perfectly synced. So check check this out. Check it out. Get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Move, bitch, get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Move, bitch, get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way. So that is Spice Girls and Ludacris together. And, just, and tell me that that was not meant to go together. Like, Amos, come on. I, I, I actually love both those songs. Like, I, I unabashedly know all the words to both those songs. And, and holy shit, is that just a lot of fun. I, I want to I wanna do the ludicrous version of that song to that music uh, uh, at a club one night. That'd be, that'd be amazing. That would be absolutely awesome. Um, so, so real quick, okay, so can you tell, is there anything, any story or anything about that particular song? Like, is, how, or how you, like, came up with those two to mash together? Um, that, that one, I'm honest, honestly not sure. Although, at first, I did try mixing it with, oh, Black Betty, Bam Lam, oh, Black Betty, Bam Lam, like, it yeah, like yeah, yeah. it goes like it goes perfectly with it as well but there there just wasn't as much to work with mm. like if i'm if i'm lucky if i look through my various notes on my phone maybe he, there'll be be an idea uh, like like that, that 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 was that was just messing around well what i want everybody to do i just put this link in into chat room what i want everyone to do in chat room i want you to go to that link and subscribe to Ben's YouTube channel that would be absolutely awesome um, oh my gosh yes thank you so some something else that i wanted to point out so you've got one on here that is um, set to x gon give it to you uh but it's it's a mario themed x gon give it to you Indeed. Which is also really cool itself, but I noticed something interesting about this one. This one has way more, many times more views than your other videos. What sort of of um, like search search terms or SEO did you apply to that one that you didn't do with the other? One? All the words, man. Okay. I didn't realize this until afterwards, but if you just Google mashups one word on on Google, the first result you get is the subreddit for posting mashups. So uh, that that okay. definitely comes comes into it, and seems and asking for, and asking around like that is one of the main places they they look for mashups. Like, I don't I don't have a good answer for that. Like like everything on that ch I I think just about everything on that channel ex except one of them I. I posted that subreddit, and most of them either stay at zero or go up a few points. But something about Mario sixty four and DMX just really clicked with people to to the point where it's like, okay, now now that I've seen something that works, can I do it again with way, other Super Mario sixty four or anything else? Right, right. So, so so like, one one I I have two ideas going from. Going from that, one is keep doing Super Mario 64. The other is it's like the Macarena, but Ocarina of Time. Oh, uh, Ocarina! The Ocarina. Yeah, that but that, that 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 one would would be like using the actual sounds from the game to go with the, to actually play the song. That's pretty, I would pretty I would sweet. love to hear that actually. Yeah, that's like, like, do that. <laughs> it, it's, it's like it's my third like, favorite it, video game of all time. Yeah, like, like I, I haven't I haven't started, it, but it's it's one of the more promising ideas. But like, yeah, like it's 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 almost to fifteen hundred views, which friggin' mind blowing. But yeah, yeah, like I just that, that behind the idea, man. They they want to see it. Oh hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, like it it just blew, it just blew up on that on that subreddit, and that's all 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 I can say about it. Like like pretty cool it, though. Oh yeah, like, I, I, hope that, that, drives, I hope it drives traffic to your other stuff too, because I, I think a lot of people uh, maybe are just searching for you know Mario mashups or something like that, and that's how it's coming up. And I'm, I'm hoping that they take the time to check out what else you've done, because you've done some really cool stuff. Like I said, the uh, I hope so. The one that we played earlier, um, "Wannabe Bitch" is what you called it. 
Uh, yeah. That's my favorite one that you've done. Like that is just that is, it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I I hope so. I hope so. Although there, like, I I have like three times as many I've made already, and some of them aren't good enough. Some of them just they like they will not play on YouTube because of copyright. So there there's one or two that that you might find through Twitter, fa Facebook, or SoundCloud that can't that can't be pun be just. Just because, just because Scatman John, one of the awesomest people ever, they 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 won't let they won't let me use in a song, in a mashup. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, man, IP, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really stupid. Hey, um, <laughs> you know you you know where you can find a mashup of really cool shit. Um, mashup of um, what what sort of things are we talking about? Like um. A mashup of clothes. We were talking about dressing up earlier. Yeah, mashup yeah, yeah. You can you can find that there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. I've got um, I've got video games on my mind. Thinking about Mario's or maybe uh, yeah, yeah. We're talking you can, about you can, you can mash up some uh, some Mario stuff. Uh, some, uh, some maybe even some Luigi. Yeah, yeah. Um, po Pokemon stuff. Yep, Pokemon yep. Stuff? There's you can, you can mash that up in there too. Like it's all okay. it's, it's like one stop one stop I, shopping for all this uh geeky mashup shit, man. You've got my interest. All right, uh, then, then uh, what, what are we you, you just cruise on over to geekandgamergear.com, man. Geek the letter N gamergear.com and you can just mash up all that shit into one uh, into one one big shopping cart. Uh hit the old uh, uh buy button and type in ritual misery at uh, at checkout and boom, you get all kinds of cool shit on the cheap with a 10% discount. Uh, like it's just win. It's all win. I that is the place that earlier this week I saw Pokemon slippers on there. No, in fact, doubt it. Nope, nope. Doubt it. It's real, dude. I fucking doubt Check it. Check it out. Pokemon slippers. What, what is this? What is this right here? What is this? This what? What? I, like I don't even know what this is. Like what? What? What <laughs> is it? Is this Charmander slippers? And they got some like angry sweet, Pikachu. And, uh, you could you can get those. You can throw those in your cart. You can get them for less than twenty bucks a piece with. Using ritual misery uh, as the promo code. You, you at mean checkout. you mean you mean twenty bucks a pair, right? Because if you're just buying one slipper, like you might have some issues. Or I mean, oh, totally, totally. Or, or you could just totally. be, you know, a, 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 a disabled person. By all means, I'm not trying to. Try, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, disable uh, uh, shame. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> handy shame? Would that be handy shame? Yeah, just go to geekandgamergear.com. That's geek the letter and gamergear.com. Use Ritual Misery at checkout. You'll help us out a little bit, and you'll get 10% off your whole order. Really cool stuff there. Boom. Yeah. Uh, man, so I had an honor bestowed upon me this week. Uh, last week, we had Fitz on mm -hmm. the show. Uh, cool dude. Uh, anybody that, that's that's never talked to Fitz, like make a point to find him in chat room and, and uh, have a conversation with him. In fact, he's in chat room right now. Uh, Fitz is a writer. And he chose me as a subject for one of his articles. And uh, man, so flattering, so absolutely amazing to have someone write about me. Uh, awesome. Like, it's, it's like the coolest shit of all time to have somebody write about you. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this into, um, into chat realm as well. I want everybody to go to Fitz's Medium page. Um, go ahead and subscribe to him. He's, he's got all kinds of cool stuff that he's written on there. And uh, you know it's it's a shameless self plug. Everybody <laughs> read the article about me because I'm super cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, actually, okay, you already threw it in there, Amos. Uh, yeah, that's what I do. Uh, but yeah, yeah, super cool stuff, man. Ch check out Fitz's stuff too. Really cool. Uh, and if if you uh, if you if you read through Kent's uh, article and you're like, you know what, I need some action, I need some excitement. Uh, just cruise on over to a couple of articles before that, and you'll find mine and. <laughs> It'll, you'll, you'll be satiated with all the uh, ritual misery that you need for that particular evening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, uh, so, Amos, uh, let's go ahead and, and um, we, we've tried to bury the lead a couple of times about this. Uh, mm. Let's go ahead and uh, let's lead into the uh, our next segment. Here. Uh, well, our next segment, actually, um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! One day I'm gonna have a, a camera behind me so I can see all the shit that that, uh, that yeah, wow. <laughs> so that's what's gonna happen there. Um, we on Sunday hung out with Gloria Young, 
Uh, it was a part of this right here. Or or not that. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna fucking just. Can I just can I just murder this shit? Here, let's try to try it again. Challenge accepted. Doing other things in these streets. Yo, that's crazy. This looks like a job for Amos's ball on the Ritual Misery podcast. Uh, Glory Young, uh, as suggested by Chat Realm, uh, by by in particular one of our patrons. And that is sitting there in the patron right now. It's in, in the Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Rich Wizardry. And man. Uh, that was suggested, what, three weeks ago now, I yeah. think? I think it was three weeks yeah. ago. It was like the, the, when we first debuted Amos's Balls. Yep. As a segment. Uh, yeah. Not my actual right. balls. Yeah, yeah, we, exactly. We don't do that uh, until a, mi- a million subs. A million subs, right. <laughs> Um, and you can read into that however you want. Uh, no, but uh, the, she was the first person that we were challenged, or that Amos, Amos's balls were challenged to get Gloria Young. Because everybody was like, <laughs> let me throw a name out there that they definitely won't be able to get. Hmm. How about Gloria Young? Yeah, Guess was, what? It- first, we got Gloria Young. Uh, we, dude, we had an awesome time this weekend talking to her. She is the coolest person. And she's got some wonderful, wonderful stories, and not and, all of them about uh, about jury either. We did hear get some new yeah. juicy, juicy info on jury. Uh, we also got to learn a absolutely. lot about her, and it was just really a good fucking time. Yep, absolutely. So um, check it out. Oh, and there's so just just to tease it a little bit more. So one of the places that uh, that chat rummers will remember Gloria from. Was a long time ago on Night Attack. Oh, actually, I think it was on NSFW. Ooh. Michael Brooker called Gloria to tell her you have to watch The Walking Dead. This is when The Walking Dead first came out. So yeah, this would have been NSFW. Oh yeah, that was but, years, yeah. years ago. But, Holy but cow! The, the question like, is, did she, up, she did she ever watch the show? Yeah, did she ever end up watching it? That's well, I don't know. Well, uh, go to patreon.com slash ritual misery, sign up, watch the episode, watch the interview with Gloria, and you will get the answer and a yep. story to go with it. But so, more uh, news, good, more good. N- more news to that. Like, we're not going to stop there because we also had another challenge. The second challenge was done via Twitter uh, by Cabo Wabo, and he said, when's Molly going to be on? Molly Wood, that is. Molly Wood. As of right now, we have her soft booked. As in, we we know the date. We just need to get confirmation from her. But it looks like we she's just, the one suggested the date. So, yeah, she, uh, she I'm suggesting her. I'm, I'm going to guess it's pretty good. Ink. She's um, going on the calendar in ink. Yeah, that's uh. So that's going to happen very soon. Uh, within a within a few weeks, I think. Right. Within well, with, within the next uh, month or so. Yeah, actually, uh, she's she's a busy lady. Go she's got too much going. We can just go ahead and announce the date. Uh, May eleventh is going to be Molly Wood. Boom. That's going to be amazing. Boom, people. Looking forward to that. And Squid um, says, fuck it, I'll call you two out. Book screen team for a show. Screen team added to the list. Of broken Screen promises. team, okay. Uh, we've got an anonymous chat rummer in here, uh, DC84993, saying that the balls are productive. Um, well, I mean... I do have. How productive are your balls, Ben? Wait, what about my balls? <laughs> <laughs> I said, how productive are your balls? Uh, he's a oh, Charmander. Okay. He's afraid of balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, balls coming at me all the fucking time, man. <laughs> oh, geez. So, tell us a little bit about the uh, the Charmander suit. You alluded in the pre-show. You alluded to the fact that. Um, that the the Charmander suit works, and he gave a little nod. Now I want to know what that means. What does that mean? The Charmander suit works. I mean, it it, it goes it goes a lot of directions. Like '90s bar crawl is just one of many places I just wear this thing to. Like, like so, someone someone has any themed idea party, and I and I just wear it to it. Like. Like there's there's two there's two directions in particular, or I want to go with one one is the innocent one where me me and like three girls I've met like 
like one, once or twice, just went 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 to uh, an, an event in in a me meadow where, where everyone was everyone was just se selling all these nice things they made, and this like five year old girl comes up to me with like, and she has a, a sheet of of Pokemon badge stickers. Oh, nice! And and she get and she gives me one one of those, and and like. I don't have any more, but like, like I, I, I kept it. I kept that volcano badge proud on on this onesie for like a good few months. Like, <laughs> like, I just, just, just like, like that. That's a good. That right there is a good summary. Is that I, I walk all around North Carolina in this, and people cheer me on. Like, <laughs> like if if they don't if they don't talk to me the first time they see me, they come up later and be like, dude, I saw you earlier. Thank you so so much for for wearing this. And yeah, no, that's, and, that's pretty sweet, man. That's it. I'm sure it's a great conversation starter. Um, it disarms people like makes it like, okay, this guy looks sillier than I do right now. It's safe to go talk to him. You know? Um, yeah. It, it brings people out of their shells. I imagine. De definitely. Definitely. It's, it's getting to the point where it's like, I might just start going places without any plans. Just wear the Charmander onesie. Just, just so it's easier to talk to new people and, <laughs> See where those conversations go. Yeah, and right on. Um, Sassian in the chat says that uh, her Pokemon Go graphics just got better. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, oh, gee, gee. Um, Sassian is actually someone that um, you danced with in Austin about a month ago. Uh. <laughs> so my girlfriend oh, Stephanie, uh, when we were at the Night Attack show i think it was right after the night attack show when uh everybody kind of gets a little crazy and starts dancing and yeah, yeah. A, a, a oh red, oh uh, oh yeah. I remember. <laughs> he's like oh oh that okay <laughs> <laughs> awkward hey uh you know what else is awkward <laughs> what's that karaoke it can be yeah I love me some karaoke. I love karaoke too. Uh, do Do you have a, a a story to tell about karaoke and how awkward it can be? No, but it's your turn this week, so you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, uh, go ahead, go ahead and set me up while I'm while I'm looking for the um, for the story that was sent to us this week. <laughs> Go, um, go ahead, go ahead and send me up. I've already read the well, story. I think. See, so, the uh, problem is, know. the problem is, um, I don't, uh, I don't know if everybody knows what karaoke is. I don't know if it's. What? I, I don't because there are a lot Seriously? of people. Like, if you you ever go to a bar and there's people that are dancing, and there's people that are drinking, and then there's somebody on on stage like trying to sing, right? But everybody's just yeah. looking away. They don't understand. They don't truly understand the art form that is karaoke. Oh, I see. Dude. So this, this is something that, that Ben in his DJing, he could, he could use this as, uh, you know, somebody shows up at the bar and is like, what the hell is karaoke? Right. Ben can use this to say like, here, read this, or here, let me read this to you. Exactly, right? exactly. So Ben, we have a, uh, we have some mysterious benefactor that just emails us things that are somehow relevant to the conversations that we're having. The most random okay. shit. Yeah, so, uh, so anyway, let, let me go ahead and read this. Here's the, the description of karaoke. All right, karaoke is a virtual form of entertainment that first became popular in the bathroom and caught on all over the mashup. In karaoke, you sing along to a fucked up song using a dressed up microphone. You don't have to be a particularly good singer to sing karaoke. You can even be a record-breaking singer. The important thing is to have a silly time. Karaoke is especially proud at a sleepover party. Hmm. You don't even need a sticker machine. Okay. Uh, you could just turn up the radio and sing. Just be sure to give other balls a turn. You don't want to be a sitcom hog. No, I'm, no. <laughs> Interesting description. I will say I, that. I, but it's accurate. Like, it's dead on accurate. Everything in there is 100% accurate about karaoke. It is. Like, so, like, so our benefactor, uh, s like, sent this specifically to give to you to, uh, to use for mm -hmm. any people that's, that come That's to how I you. took it, yeah. I mean, but, yeah, but like, look, look at the facts. Look at the facts. It first became popular in the bathroom. Yeah. No, no, no shit. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so singing in the shower, singing on the poop, sing, singing mm. fucked up songs with a dressed up microphone. Like it's, uh, <laughs> it, 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 it all that sounds flows. like a lyric right there. Uh, karaoke is especially proud at a sleepover party. Like that's your proudest moment right there when you're singing to all your lady mm-hmm. friends at the sleepover party. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Would you would you use this as a descriptor? Would would you would you hand this out to strangers at a at a club? I. I th- I think is a perfect description because <laughs> the f- funny thing is I actually have karaoke fans like like I I do I've been doing karaoke for like a year and a half straight every weekend to the point I have actual fans and that that is a great summary of what karaoke is Th- thank you for bringing this to my attention <laughs> excellent excellent uh, um so we, we've got basically like one more thing to uh, to talk about amos i think right we do it starts like this this week's ted talk as suggested by um kent i believe is kirby ferguson embrace the remix essentially yes life is a remix fucking deal with it yeah so a lot of people have said over the years that uh you know, people, you know, that that's that's not good music because it's just a it's just a remake of this old song that I know. It's just a you know, they sampled all of that or they they remixed or they took the exact same tune of a song that came out 40 years ago. Or I've heard that lyric in another song. This mm-hmm. is bullshit. Um, but it's the same with anything, whether we're talking music, uh, movies, any any work of art, technology, any sort of invention, anything is just a. It's a uh, a reworking, a remastering, if you will, or a uh, uh, I don't know. You take something that that is already in existence and something that's good, and you build upon it. You put your own spin on it. And this guy's saying that that's not a bad thing. Um, ben, you do a lot of uh, remixing and things like that. You're a DJ. You've got your YouTube channel. How do you feel about people that say that that remixing is you know, IP theft, basically. I mean, it's 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 a d- difficult sub subject. Like, I, like I'm like a lot, lot lot of my artist friends like are fairly pr- protective of of the of their their music and and want it to only be used in certain certain ways. But 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 ult- ultimately, um, almost. There's so many things at this point we enjoy that are that are some that, I mean, a lot of them are just done with YMCA song or All Star, or and a lot and there even with all all the uh, all the Marvin Gaye lawsuits and all, all that, there's still a lot, a lot that we're d- doing that that uses a lot, a lot of sam- samples and. Uh. Did you um? Did you get anything from this TED talk that was maybe um, maybe new information or a new perspective? I thought I, I thought I mean, all the Bob Dylan stuff was was crap. Actually, he mentions a lot of a lot of songs that are, that Bob Dylan either recorded from other people or he stole the lyrics from, and I can see a vague resemblance. But I'm really bad at this game, and I thought it was all crap. <laughs> like, yeah. like 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 yeah, I, like, I, like- I, I I fully agree with the message. But the way that he like the examples that he gave, I think he just I think he was avoiding giving modern examples. He wanted to give you know, historical because I think yeah. he used Bob Dylan because we we hear a Bob Dylan song today and we're like, oh wow, classic music, not knowing the source, right? The music. Where if we did that with a popular song today, we're still going to remember the original song, I guess. I Maybe. think that's why he did. Right. I, I don't know. Like, like I got the same feeling too. Like when, at the end, right when they they brought brought up the uh, was it God Bless America? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Um, it was some. It was definitely a patriotic song. Right. Yeah. Like, but I, I they they didn't play the original. Wait, they they played the original that wasn't God Bless America though, right? It was a yeah. They played the the original tune, I guess, and then yeah. the "God Bless America" or whatever it was uh, was basically just taking that tune and putting different lyrics on top. 
Yeah, like like out, out, outside mashups, which are an extremely gar- gray area, like any, anyone straight up doing that now would that definitely not be okay unless they got permission. Like, right. like they, because um, it was like note for note. Yeah. 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 I'm, like parody at most, but no, they can pull that. Yeah. So, so yeah, oh. I, I agree. Not, not, not the be- best examples, but. Over, overall, what they're ta- talking about, I I think does ring tr- ring true, true. That uh, Amos, you got any final thoughts about the uh, about the talk about uh, remixing being good or bad or? Uh... Uh, this one had a lot of promise. I just I I, I think it under delivered. Um, yeah, it was kind you... of underwhelming. I I did like yeah. how they they brought technology into it as well, like talking about how like you know different cell phone makers like you can't you know, reinvent the cell phone every time you want to come out with a new cell phone. Right. It was everything builds on the technology that came before it. Right. You know, and right. And, um, and, and, and a lot, and a lot of where we are with cell phones now, like, like I had a graphic, an old, an old graphic of, of where, of who had what pens or who, who was suing who for, or what reason. And right. that's, and that's right. why, why company ac- acquisitions were, were made just, just to get the patents so that they wouldn't get sued for X cell phone feature. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think that wraps that up. Uh, Amos, who do we, who do we have next week? Um, next week we have, uh, we, we are, we are plus two minus one. Plus two minus one. Yes. Next oh, week, next week God, we have, what, uh, we have the, that time of the month crew, Jackie Hearn and Crunchy will be on. I will not. Uh, we have a soccer tournament up in Fairbanks, Alaska, and I'm not going to rely on the internet up there to be good enough for the show. I'm not even going to worry about it. So if I do happen to come in, I'll, uh, I might be audio only, but uh, the chances are very, very slim of that occurring. So uh, you will so be accompanied by calling. you will be accompanied by Jackie Hearn and Crunchy next week for a that time of the month uh, remix. Yep. Um, yeah, that's that's really awesome. So we were looking for a guest for next week because we wanted somebody that was. Uh, you know, a friend of the show, somebody that, that kind of knows the way around ritual misery, uh, because we knew that it was a really good chance that Amos wasn't going to be on the show next week. So I called up our, our good friend Crunchy, or uh, I'm sorry, Jackie, and said, hey, do um, you think you could do this? And she's like, uh, can I bring Crunchy? And uh, I was like, well, yeah. And uh, she was like, yeah, like, you know, we were we were talking about having this, you know, that time of the month kind of thing like trying it out again or maybe maybe doing a one-off or something like that and this is the perfect opportunity to try to throw that back out there so i'm really looking forward to that uh sucks you can't be there amos but um i know it's gonna be a great time uh two weeks from now though so the next show after that happens to fall on may the 4th yes so we are going to try to do a may the 4th uh star wars special episode we'll talk about some of our theories and some of our ideas about the trailers all that kind of stuff uh ramp up the excitement level level specifically for star wars we are hoping to have a very very special guest or guests for that episode uh we hope to find out about that very soon so we can announce that next week and man it's going to be awesome i love star wars not probably as much as you do because it's like you got a (laughs) you got a star wars tattoo you got like a rebel stamp on your dick but other than that i mean (laughs) <laughs> it, it's it's really something that I'm really into. Um, hey, real quick, where can people find out more about Charmander? I mean Ben or from accounting. Russell Berry. I mean or Russell from- Berry. I mean okay. Or Ben uh, Shit. Or I lost uh, myself right, in my right. own inception. I got, I got this. I got this. So <laughs> if you want to find more about Charmander, buy a freaking Pokedex. Oh damn. damn. You, you can you can learn all all about uh, all about me. What I like to eat. Uh, what 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 most often is our demise, the usual stuff that you want to know about Charmander, right? And you're like, so get that. Um, you can f- follow Brussaberry on Twitter at at b r u s s e l b u r y. Wow, a with good, a tune. Demonic. I think you practiced that before. <laughs> I have. That's awesome. And. Uh- and if you want, if you want, to, if you want to follow where I'm, what I'm doing musically, I plug. I'm plugging the YouTube channel. Old Ben from Accounting, it, like, like you, you can find find me on YouTube. I have five videos up right now. Four or five are have lots of people 
with copyright claims on them, but they're still up. <laughs> just someone else is making yes. the money from the clicks. It's cool. And I just threw the link into chat realm again. Everybody, please go to Ben's YouTube channel and subscribe. All um, right. Yeah. Amos, what about you, man? Um, I can be found on Twitter at Ethan Kane. You can find Kent on Twitter at RM underscore, underscore Del Noche. You can cruise on over to Untapped and find him. Username Del Noche uh, 77, right? Or is it just nope, Del nope, Noche? Just, nope, it's just Del Noche. You're yeah. on Untapped too, though. What are you I, there? I am. I'm just Ethan Kane, though. You can find me everywhere, Ethan Kane, man. You can yep, just find Del Noche there. for me everywhere, except for Twitter um, is R underscore. Del yeah, Noche. Uh, of course, you can find uh, find the show at Ritual Misery on Twitter. You can cruise on over to ritualmisery.reddit.com, throw ideas in there for short for stories that you'd like to see us cover. Uh, Patreon.com slash Ritual Misery if you'd like to support the show or go to RitualMisery.com and you can find out everything that you wanted there. Um, there is a lot of great stuff heading in the future for us. We don't know what it is yet because we haven't decided because there's just so many options. So, And th that is all thanks to our patrons and to the chat room and everything else, uh, the people that are here with us now. Thank you to Kevin McLeod for making the, the, the music for the show. Um, you're just awesome. And thank you for this show. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs>